Okay, with cannabis, you want to be careful and time your harvest properly. As we see kind of in this image here with all the birds and the cleverly placed glass that makes it look like they're flying out, uh, the timing of your harvest can be very important. So that timing, the goal is to hit the peak of maturity. Uh, too early and the buds will be immature and not have quite the cannabinoid content that you may want. And too late the substances, cannabinoids, terpenes, will break down, reducing its um, desirability of your particular end product. So your goal is to time it just right, so it's just at the perfect time to get the maximum amount of yield, maximum amount of terpenes, maximum amount of cannabinoids uh, in your particular uh, bud. Now, timing can help improve the harvest because the aging and curing process is also important, so I don't want to negate that, uh, to help improve taste and fragrances while also maintaining shelf life. However, depending on the specific compounds targeted, the harvest time may differ to ensure, ensure that you're maximizing the harvest of your particular end product. So for THC, uh, production typically increases at the very end of the plant's life cycle. Remember, high THC, elevated levels of THC will classify something as marijuana. Here we're looking at CBD or hemp in particular. Now in regards to CBD production, peak CBD production typically occurs before peak THC. So it's important for cultivators that are paying, playing a close line with the federal limit to know when one cannabinoid may peak and versus another. Again, here if you let it go too far, THC may increase too high. The reason why that's important is the classification of hemp to marijuana. Uh, as a result, it's possible for a cannabis plant to be legal below 0.3% THC, but then later in the season could become illegal, meaning it will test higher than 0.3% THC. So testing is important to know your cultivator, uh, your cultivar that you're using uh, as a grower, and to make sure you're playing that line uh, as hemp and not getting into the marijuana classification with that elevated level of THC. And for some uh, varieties, for some cultivars, that could potentially happen if you let it go too long because THC uh, production occurs later in the life cycle of a cannabis plant. Now, cannabinoids in general are found in greatest concentrations in the flowers, with some found in nearby leaves, like, for example, here and here. But again, this is where your greatest concentration is going to be here and here. Post-harvest cannabinoid content can begin to slowly degrade with light and high temperatures. High temperatures defined as 80 degrees Fahrenheit and above. Uh, also, excessive handling and high humidity conditions can speed up this degradation process. As a result, these are conditions that you want to keep your uh, harvest away from. Now, determining the peak ripeness, looking carefully at the resin production in the flowers is how you tell when the peak of ripeness has been reached. It can be done with a naked eye, but it's much easier with a small handheld magnifying loop here. Typically, 30x power is what's recommended. It has its own internal light, an LED light. There's, these are some of the best ones you can use. Uh, an ideal for determining the harvest time and also scanning for potential insects. Again, you're looking for those um, resin production. You don't want them uh, perfectly clear. You don't want them perfectly milky. You just want them that slight translucent. If you let them go too long, they'll start to dry out and get orangey brown. It's a little bit too far gone. So again, just going through and inspecting the actual buds that you have will allow you to determine the exact peak of ripeness to maximize uh, your harvest and yield from your crop.